My name is Myrtle Schock. I'm a professor at the Federal University of the West of Pará State. I am working in the Amazon Basin of Brazil. The archaeological project involves both excavation and site survey. The site we're working on is approximately a hectare and a half in size, but we don't really know where its boundaries are. Everything in the Amazon has the tendency to decompose. Archaeological sites can still have terrain that is a result of where houses were located and where garbage was piled up. The most of the Amazon we know very, very little. But what we do know comes from the study of ceramic vessels and their decorations. Our work schedule on a typical day involves getting a boat uh, to the archaeological site. We're about a mile and a half away on the other bank. The living conditions are definitely rustic. We have a base and working out of that base we have a well but that means there's no running water, so our bathing is in the river, which I find very pleasant. It's a, a sort of place where most students will take tents to sleep out. Some students will adopt the local tradition of sleeping in a hammock. I think it's a really unique spot because you're getting away from most of human habitation and there's still primary forest. So at this site, we have the chance to look at an area that is very little known. Through archaeology, we won't see people in the past who changed the Amazon the same way as we are changing it now. But we can see how they changed it and possibly what that did to the environment. I am extremely excited about the opportunity to have a field school which will bring people to Brazil, which is a country I've become very passionate about. And I see this as a great opportunity not only to be involved in archaeology, but also cultural exchanges.